So what I'm going to do now is mix a warmer colour stream for painting the actual colours of the cocktail. I've got cadmium yellow light, cadmium orange, some cadmium red, and you see how vivid they feel in comparison to the previous muted colours. A bit more of the burnt sienna and permanent alizarin crimson. This is also from Windsor and Newton. And just a touch of burnt umber. And this will give us a great base to mix these colours from. So we're going to start with the darkest value just to get a sense of the feeling of the structure of the colours in the glass. Just to make sure we've got a nice dark, we can start with the burnt umber and then add some red into there. So from here, I take a bit of that first mix and then I'm going to go lighter up with a range of oranges just using these hues. There's also a bit of reflected colour into where the lemon is floating in the drink. So I can take some of the orange to start with and then just create another colour string of muted yellows. And that's where this burnt sienna can be really handy. Okay, that's great. So now I've swapped to the Rosemary & Co synthetic flat brush, which is a slightly smaller flat to give us a bit more detail and the slightly softer bristles. So then what I'm doing is looking at the reference and then following the darkest areas to start with on the edges and just really looking for the abstract shape within the volume of the water. I'm not looking at anything in the background, it's all to do with those shapes within the glass. So while that's still wet, I can just work onto the next colour on top of it. And this is what's nice when you're working with acrylics and a colour string. Because acrylics tend to dry so quickly, once you've mixed the colour string and you're applying the paint to the surface, you can work quickly between those colours. You don't have to go back and mix a new one. You've already within the right ballpark. So you can kind of tweak it between the colours that are within the string.
So there's this amazing orange color in the center and also across the center of this lemon. And it's about this stage of the painting where you might find that you start to question what, what you're actually doing. So it doesn't quite look like a lemon when I've put this colour in here and the straw looks too vivid. But you've just got to stick with it because we know that these warm colours are really close to what we're looking for. And the more areas that are blocked in with the colour, the easier it will be for you to see where you need to tweak. So I've just added a bit of white into that mix to lighten it to create this pinky hue. I mean, it's amazing really how peachy it goes to the top of the drink. And then when I'm just really starting to look, I just notice how you've got this really dark red around the top area, as well as the bottom of the glass, that I hadn't even noticed this when I first started the painting. So the, the more that you look at a subject, the more you'll start to get an understanding of how it's made up and how the structure of the values work together. So then I've just muted down with some cobalt violet, ultramarine blue and burnt umber. So it's a very similar colour to the purples that we had initially in the background, just a bit more muted version. And then this peachy colour at the top of the drink. And here I'm just using that brightest colour that we mix in the string and just painting these like little zings of colour in the centre and it's starting to feel a lot close to the image that we're working towards. And then just to darken off that straw it's surprisingly dark when it's in the water. Once that's painted in, I really want to give it that sense that the straw is submerged into the liquid. And you can start to see now that the more the surface is covered, the more realistic it's becoming. So I'm going to take some more of the glazing liquid and add one final red 
This is a naphthol red light and it's got a bit of a semi-transparent quality to it. So I can just glaze over the top of those initial colors that I've painted down an even more glazing liquid on top of it and it will just help to sink those colors in. So now I've just swap back to the round brush and add those final details on the highlights of the rim of the glass.
Okay, that's coming together nicely. I'm just looking around the whole piece now, looking at everything as a whole, to see if there's any bits of the drawing that I want to tweak or any colors just to alter. And then just a few final highlights. I felt like I'd lost the orange color a bit in the center, so I've just reinforced that. Okay, that's great. 